Alright, hey guys, what's up? Kitty Cat was here, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to control water or lava with redstone. Yeah, I know, sounds complicated, right? Well, don't worry, it really isn't. First thing you're going to want to do is dig it, is dig a trench, kind of like this looking. Okay, place your water or lava in there. Okay, now if you dig this out, no water flows back here. Okay, that's good. Now we'll just have this basically be a controllable. Um, this is no longer really um, very useful now that we have pistons, but basically what it does is if I turn on this lever, the water will flow the other way as well. Or it should be, but it's not. Why is that? Oh, right, because you have to build it down to the source block. So turn it off, turn it on. No, apparently I'm wrong. And fail with redstone, too. Great. Now I look like a total fool, but whatever. So this is just going to be, I guess, an episode on controlling water slash lava with redstone. Oh, I know why, because I didn't do that. Duh. Oh, jeez. Nope, there it goes. See? See, guys? This is what happens if you don't do it correct the first time. So do it right the first time, kids, okay? Get it right the first time, and you won't need a second chance. But whatever. Alright. That was a total failure. Um, absolute total failure. But, uh... Here's something actually a lot of people completely forgot about, is that, uh... Pistons and such on their own, can stop water. Yeah. Intriguing, hmm? Yes, I, I thought so too at first. Because that basically adds a way to control water slash lava easily. Oh, forgot to make an inverter. I need to make an inverter. An inverter. So then you, you know... Let's say you've got a lake here, but a lake there, but you want a river here or something. I don't know why. I don't know why you'd want that, but whatever. And you want like a river with a waterfall there. Um, uh, what did I say? Lake here. Yeah. And you just press the button, and boom, got water that flows down like a drip and drop, drips and drops. Unless you want to be like me and have a lever and be cool. So that way it's just controllable waterfall, essentially. Yeah. People, a lot of people actually forgot about this, that pistons can control water and lava. Yeah, water. So now we have water, as you've seen. It can control water, but you know what else it can control, guys? It's something pretty cool. One of my favorite things in Minecraft, in fact. It can control lava. Yeah. Bowler, I know. So let's give myself some lava. I'll throw away a feather for lava, gladly. Alright. And we'll make some... Oh, jeez, that's the wrong spot. That's the wrong spot. Glass, 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 glass. That was complete wrong spot to place it. <laughs> that was close. Um, okay, so let's just make a bunch of lava here. I flipped the switch, and the lava can flow. Hooray. I flipped it again, and the lava goes bye-bye. So that was just controlling water slash lava with pistons and or redstone, whatever you want to use. So redstone, I can't figure out how to get mine to work anymore, but whatever. Um, I'm a bit rusty with redstone, actually, guys, but other than that, um, I think that's it for this video, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya!